Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video we're going to write a get height method to get the height of a binary search tree in Java. First, let's take a look at a binary search tree and see how it works. Each binary search tree has a root node, which is the topmost node. We're always going to start at that node when we're trying to get the height. The height of this tree we can see is 4. There are four different levels of the tree, 1, 2, 3, 4. So clearly this tree has four levels, or we could look at it as one for the root node plus the height of the tallest subtree. So the tallest subtree is here, but we need to compare both subtrees to see which one is taller and then add one to that. So we have a left subtree and a right subtree. So for each subtree, we could say, well, the height of this subtree is one plus the height of its tallest subtree. So we have a left subtree and a right subtree. And then we could do the same thing on the right subtree of the 5. This height of the 8 subtree is 1 plus the height of its tallest subtree. So we can see this is a recursive solution. We're going to use recursion to solve this problem, which is common in trees. As you descend down a tree, it's pretty easy to call the function over and over until you reach the bottom of the tree. Now let's look at the Java code. We have a public tree class. And within the tree class, we have a public method called getHeight, so that we can call this to get the height of the tree. And we'll return, if there's a root, it'll call the getHeight function. If not, it's going to return zero because there's, the height is zero. So let's scroll down and take a look at the node class getHeight function. Here you can see we have a private inner node class, and we have a private getHeight method that is only called by the tree's getHeight function. So we're going to set left height and right height both equal to zero. Then if there's a left child, we're going to set left height equal to the height of the left child with a recursive function call. And we're going to check if there's a right child. And if there is, we're going to get the height of the right child with a recursive function call and set that to the right height. And then we return one plus the max of left height and right height. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.